What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Hazlitt. In today's video, y'all are gonna get a chance to see what is inside my 2020 football gear bag. As y'all can see, right here. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Do me a favor and consider subscribing. You guys are gonna love everything that is inside my 2020 football gear bag. Are you ready? Let's go! And make sure y'all stay to the end of the video because I may or may not be doing a giveaway on some of the items. And without further ado, I wanna put out a disclaimer that as y'all can see, my bag is ginormous. And that is because I'm currently playing quarterback for the T-Rex Sports Academy down in Timbo, Brazil. Since I play overseas, I've gotta make sure that I've got all of my gear with me 24 seven. So there might be some items in my gear bag that might not apply to you guys, but let me tell you, for all of you guys that play middle school, high school, and college football, I've got you guys covered. I've got a bunch of gear in this bag that you guys are gonna find relevant, as well as some new stuff that has just been put out on the market. So you guys are gonna find a lot of value. So with that, it's now time to dive into what's in my 2020 football gear bag. Come on. All right, just, all right, just cut. Cut. Dude, I actually can't open it, bro. Super stuck. Here we go. Ah! It's now time to show you guys the most important gear items in my bag, and that is my helmet and shoulder pads. Starting off with my Adventure Athletes helmet, as you guys can see here, it's got the visor on it. This is an OG Rydell Speed, which I don't even think they make these anymore. I have since upgraded to a Rydell Speed Flex. And as you guys can see on this helmet, it's got my custom Adventure Athletes logos. Moving on to my shoulder pads, I've got the Rydell SPK shoulder pads, which are designed for skill players and quarterbacks. It also has a backlight on the bottom, as y'all can see right here. And one modification I made was cutting off the pad on this side of the shoulder pad, as you guys can see here. For you quarterbacks, I definitely would recommend doing that. Fun fact, I've been wearing these shoulder pads since my freshman year in high school. So these shoulder pads have done me about 11 years worth of service, and I could not be more happy with these pads. One side note, I am gonna be linking all of the gear down in the description below in my Amazon store. For those of you guys that might see an item that you wanna go purchase, if you purchase it through my Amazon store, you guys are also helping out support me on this channel. The next items I've got in my bag, you guys are either gonna think this is the smartest thing or the dumbest thing because I've got two more duffel bags. Now let me tell you guys, this is the biggest hack that I've developed over all of my 13 years of playing football and that is having two bags inside one big duffel bag because everything that's gonna go in here ranges from football pads, helmets, to all my different gear and accessory items. In this bag, I'm gonna have all of my clothes that I'm gonna be changing into after the game, snacks, electronics. Sometimes I'll even have my homework in here for those of you guys that are in high school and college that go on big away games. The best thing about having two of these bags is when you're done with the game, this bag eventually becomes my nasty sweaty bag and this bag always stays nice, fresh, and clean. Now you guys are probably thinking, well, I don't have the money to go out and buy two nice Nike duffel bags. Well, let me tell you. I got both those bags from Ross. And a lot of you guys are gonna be surprised, but a lot of the gear that I purchased in this video, I got from Ross, Marshalls, and Goodwill. For example, these two bags right here I picked up at Ross, which were both a fraction of what they cost at most sporting goods stores. For those of you guys that are playing high school and middle school football, these would be great options for you guys, simply because you'll probably have one major duffel bag that you guys will travel everything with, and this would be a great bag to put your cleats in and all your nasty gear in post game. And what do you know, I might just have to do a giveaway of uh, these two bags, but make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video. The next items in my bag all go hand in hand with my shoulder pads and helmets starting with this back plate, this Oakley Prism visor, and this Evo Shield rib protector. For me as a quarterback, I'm rocking these Evo Shield rib protectors, and I know a lot of other skilled players that do rock these as well. These are my favorite rib protectors because they're very lightweight, and they're a lot less thick and chunkier compared to the big, bulky rib protector pads that you see a lot of quarterbacks wearing in college and in the NFL. The best thing is pairing this Evo Shield rib protector with a back plate for extra protection on my back. Especially as a quarterback, I might get blindsided from time to time, but for all you skilled players, and O linemen, I'm showing love to my O linemen and D linemen. Y'all are definitely gonna wanna rock a back plate. I think there's just something about a back plate that also has that other little additional swag factor to it, but it does protect you whenever you might get potentially speared in the back. Both of these items might be in that giveaway bag at the end of this video. 
This Oakley Prism Clear Visor has to be one of my favorite accessories in my football bag. This was gifted to me by the company called Green Gridarm, which is where I get a variety of my football accessories as well as helmets. I've partnered with them to give you guys 15% off all Oakley and Shock visors. All you gotta do is use the link and my code down in the description below and get you one. And y'all may or may not be seeing it in the giveaway bag as well. The next item I've got in my bag is my classic red number six practice jersey, as y'all can see right here. And a little surprise for you guys, I also just happen to have my number six Timbo Rex game jersey. Y'all are gonna be getting a chance to see me rocking this bad boy in the near future. With my jersey, your boy's also got his game pants. These things are tight. So if there's any ladies that do watch my channel, um, you're welcome. The next items I've got in my bag are pretty self-explanatory, especially because your boy's a quarterback. I have a lot of balls. One, two, three, four, oh, five footballs to be exact, fellas. Nothing better than balls. All right, y'all, so the next couple items in my football bag are companies that are completely revolutionizing the way we play the game of football. Starting with the company called Playbook 5. In this box, I have a pair of VR goggles. In these VR goggles, you're able to open it up, place your iPhone inside it, and through the Playbook 5 app, you're able to upload your playbook and experience what it's like studying film from a virtual reality perspective. The best thing about Playbook 5 is you can play any position on the field and you can get the chance to experience what it's like studying film through virtual reality. I partnered up with Playbook 5 because I really see the value in this product. At times it was tough for me to study plays growing up. So if that's the case for you or if you wanna look into new alternative ways to study your playbook, check out Playbook 5 down in the description below. The next item in my football bag is the Modus QB Shooter Sleeve. And what makes this shooter sleeve unique is that it has an RFID chip embedded into the sleeve that allows quarterbacks to track their reps, velocity, and overall for quarterbacks specifically, help you track and maintain your arm health in both the off season and during the season. I've got the chance to use this shooter sleeve this past winter and it really did help open my eyes to the importance of tracking my reps whenever I'm in the off season and when I'm in season to make sure that I'm not ever out working my arm as well as to make sure that I'm getting enough reps to stay in shape. I've left their link down in the description below. So if you're interested in the Modus QB shooter sleeve, check them out. The next item in my football bag is the Gridiron Glove. What's good, fellas? I know y'all have heard about this Gridiron Glove before. You probably think, wow, it's just an oversized baseball mitt. Like, why would anyone have this in their football bag? Well, your boy designed this for my senior project at Linfield College. And ultimately, this glove is designed to catch a football with little to no effort and to reduce the high velocity that you experience on your hands. Whether you're playing catch with your mom or your dad, with the gridiron glove, you can always make sure that you can have a successful catch. Guys, I designed this thing. It kind of failed because of the coronavirus, but make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm still not done with this bad boy. And let me tell you, there's nothing better than playing catch with my dad and my mom while throwing a football at a high velocity and watching them be able to make a successful catch. The next items in my bag are a variety of different accessories that I found recently that I wanted to share with y'all. I've got some mouth guards here I'm gonna show y'all, as well as a cup <laughs> and a dope chin strap. So for starters, we'll start with this chin strap here. I have a sports star chin strap. This one is very similar to the one that I rocked on my French football helmet. The only difference is mine was an all black version. I really like the sports star chin strap simply because they definitely have the best comfortability out of any chin strap that I've ever used. And let me tell you, I've used some janky chin straps. Up next, I found this badass camo cup. I don't know if y'all still wear cups, I don't personally, but let me tell you, if you are someone who rocks a cup, you definitely gotta go with the compression shorts versus the old fashioned jock strap. The jock strap, that's gotta go. Up next guys, there's a variety of different kinds of mouth guards that I've recently found. I really like both the shock and the battle mouth guard. This battle binky in the gold colorway I think is super dope. There is something really cool about the shock mouth guards that I do like is that they do have that interchangeable mouthpiece, which I think is really cool because you can have a variety of different aesthetics. And in today's day and age, we all want to look swaggy and also switch it up every single game. All of these items may or may not be in the giveaway at the end of this video, fellas, so make sure you stay tuned. These items will be in the giveaway. Okay, probably not the cup, I don't know. 
Leave a comment down below if y'all rock a cup. <laughs> yeah. The next item in my football bag is a glove. As y'all know, I'm a QB. And uh, every now and then, I just rock one glove on my left hand, but I don't traditionally do it anymore. There was one point in time where I did rock gloves on both hands, but the only problem with that is that the gloves really wore out their grip. So literally after one week of wearing the gloves, they had no grip at all, period. As y'all can see here, I got a variety of gloves um, <laughs> that might be included in the giveaway at the end of this video, but yo, there's something about white gloves that just look so fresh. One question that I have for you guys is what brand of gloves do you prefer? Is it Nike, Cutters, or Battle, or Adidas? I don't know, you tell me. The next items I have in my bag are towels. Doesn't matter what position you play, all of us as football players can rock a towel. And it don't matter if it's rainy or if it's sunny. You'll always look a little swaggy. And let me tell you, if you got sweaty hands, you're always gonna want to rock a towel. I just happen to have six of these, so I'm definitely gonna be giving one of these away. Up next, we've got some armbands. Let me tell y'all, I definitely love rocking these around my wrists, and I wear these wristbands because they do reduce the sweat that get on my hand as a quarterback. So for those of you guys that do have sweaty hand problems, I definitely recommend rocking these as well as they do look fresh when you got a white pair of gloves on for you receivers and DBs out there. These bicep bands, whoa, whoa, fire. And girls, they love to pull on these bicep bands. The next item I have in my bag is a wrist coach. Now let me tell you boys, y'all are gonna wanna get one of these regardless of the position you play. There's nothing better than having little notes on your wrist while you're in practice, probably not in a game unless you guys actually wear them. Throughout my career, I found having a wrist coach always on me as a great tool to help build my confidence as a player. So I never forget plays. I always remember my checks and just by having this thing on me with my notes during practice would help me remember my checks and plays better throughout each week. So I'm telling you boys, get a wrist coach. Doesn't matter if you're in middle school, high school or college, and it doesn't matter what your friends say if you have one of these with some notes on it. It's gonna help make a difference and continue to help build your confidence as a player. The next item on my list is kind of crazy. Like I don't think you guys are gonna believe that I have this in my football bag. And that is, whoop, so. What are you doing in my football bag? This is my dog, Sophia. She started to eat the snacks that are in my football bag, fellas, so stay tuned for that, but she's a good girl. <laughs> Let me tell you, boys, over the past years of playing college football, I've got girdles on girdles, on girdles, on girdles, on girdles, on girdles, on girdles. These were my college issued Nike Pro Combat girdles. As well as I've got this girdle, which I think is my favorite pair. As y'all can see here, it's pretty much like one legging that's got every single pad, including the knee pads, which are the worst thing to lose, especially when you're on an away game. And uh, sometimes you might forget them. So this one I think is super dope. Let me tell y'all. There's gonna be a girdle in this giveaway. The next items in my gear bag are some cold gear accessories as well as some eye black accessories. As y'all can see here, I've got some bar clavas, bar clavas, baklavas. I don't know how to say them. These are game changer for those of y'all that ever play late in the playoffs during your season because y'all know in December it gets chilly and let me show you how swaggy these things look. I'm straight ninja athlete, was good. With the baklava, I've got a hand warmer Y'all can pretty much find these anywhere. I actually found this one at Ross. Shout out to Ross, I always got the come ups. You always are gonna want a hand warmer, especially on those cold, rainy days. For those of you guys that ever go play overseas, which I hope some of y'all know, now is an opportunity, you're definitely gonna want one of these. Unless you're playing in Brazil or Mexico, you don't want one. I can't forget the eye black. We've got the no glare sticker technology. As long as you can ride on these and add your own cool designs, but you can never go wrong with the true old fashioned eye black. Unless you're a D lineman, or an offensive lineman, or maybe sometimes a linebacker. You're the only ones that really have the right to put eye black all over your face. Skill guys, don't use a lot of this. Up next in my football bag, we got my cleats. Fellas, to me, my cleats are the biggest statement to who I am as a player out on the field. Because if you're rocking your OBJs or some fresh Nike Vapors that really match your whole uniform, you're gonna be one of the swaggiest dogs on the field. Sometimes it's not about swag, but for me, I'm a sneakerhead. My cleats always gotta be the freshest things on the field. I'm also competing with all my other teammates and guys from the other team to see who's got the swaggiest cleats. And for sure, my senior year when I rocked these OBJs, I was the dog. By the way, fellas, I caught these from Ross for $14. $14, come on. All right, fellas. Oh, up next, I got a lot more accessories for you guys. I'm just gonna just cut. The next items in my bag are turf tape. 
I don't know about y'all, but if you've ever never worn sleeves in a game and you get tackled on the turf, you're gonna get those bad, bad turf burns. You guys have seen me rocking turf tape when I was playing ball in France, but I kind of did look like a WWE wrestler. There is this cool battle turf tape that I think is really cool, but you can also never go wrong with the classic OG white turf tape. As well as I've got some white and black spats. This is a look that I've always gone for over my cleats versus actually taping my cleats. If I ever need tape, I'd put them on my ankles versus on the cleats themselves, just cause it can kind of rip up the cleats a little bit. And you never know when you can accidentally rip up your laces with the scissors trying to get the tape off your cleats. So for those of you guys that still want that over the cleat tape look, you're definitely gonna wanna go with spats. Here's a little tip for you guys. Get one of these deodorizer balls from Skills. You can get the chance to put these in your cleats as well as just have them in your bag. So then that big bundle of nasty, dirty stuff in that one duffel bag you got in your main gear bag doesn't smell like doo-doo. You can thank me later. And this is for sure in the giveaway bag, cause you need it. Next to my football bag, I've got the Skills QB training net. I'm not gonna put this thing up, but as y'all can see on the screen right now, I use this thing to train, especially sometimes when I don't have a receiver to catch with me. It's definitely the move, but it is a little bit expensive. I also have a set of skills hurdles, which I found at Ross for $9. These are really used out on the field whenever I'm using speed and agility drills. You can probably find these at your Ross or Marshall. So start making regular trips to Ross and Marshall because you never know what football come ups you'll find. The next items in my gear bag is a Gatorade care package. I've got here the Gatorade pods with the Gatorade bottle, as well as a towel for you to keep looking drippy on the sideline whenever you're sweaty. And the Gatorade chews and a Gatorade protein shaker with protein in it. I just recently started using the Gatorade pods and I've always been drinking shakes. Throughout college, I've always drank a shake before and after practice and game. The Gatorade towel is OG and there's nothing better than having it on your head after you get pulled out of the third quarter when you're up on a team 42 to zero. And lastly, my favorite snacks that are in my gear bag. I've got a bag of ranch sunflower seeds, a peach mango body armor, and the infamous, <laughs> and the infamous Fit Crunch Bar. I always have these snacks in my football bag in case I miss a lunch. I always have something to munch on. And especially after practice, I always need some calories in my body. One of you guys is gonna get a chance to win a bag full of gear. Some of the stuff you even saw in this video, like I mentioned. All you gotta do to enter in the giveaway is click the Gleam link down in the description below. And then from there, follow the instructions. One of the tasks I believe to enter into the giveaway is to subscribe to my second channel, which is called Clark Hazlitt, where I'm getting the chance to document more daily life content, as well as pursue my music career. As well as another task is to leave a like and a comment on my most recent video posted on that channel, which is my debut single throwback. As y'all know, I'm pursuing football and music at the same time. So it'd really mean a lot if you guys would listen to my song because you guys are gonna help me get the chance to chase those dreams in the future once my playing days are over. But let me tell y'all, I ain't done playing football for about seven years. So you guys can't get rid of me yet. I wanna give back to you guys and if you can do me the favor and support me on my second channel and enter into the giveaway link down in the description below, it'd mean a lot to me, fellas. As well as I wanna know if y'all like my new song, which I do have a music video coming for that real soon. I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video and maybe learn about some products that I use that you might wanna start using in your football training regimen. And if you made it this far in the video, leave a comment comment down in the description below, hashtag Clark Country, so I know you made it this far. And also make sure you guys click the link down in the description below and follow the instructions in order to enter into the giveaway and win yourself a football gear bag. With that, thank y'all so much for showing love and support and I'll see y'all in the next video coming soon. Yeah.